today we're doing something really simple. It's sauteed summer squash in garlic butter. And you can use any kind of summer squash that you've got going. Uh, it, just going to cut it up so that it, it's all in similar size, bite-sized pieces. So I've got a tablespoon of butter. Now you could use an oil here, but I'm really going for the flavor of butter. I really like it. So we've melted uh, a tablespoon of butter, uh, unsalted if you have it, but salted will work. Now I've cut the summer squash. I've got two varieties here. And we're going to put this in here and let it start to uh, cook down. Now I left my pieces a little bit bigger because my experience is if I'm going to cook something like summer squash and leave it for any time at all, if it's in tiny pieces, uh, it tends to get overcooked fairly quickly. So I left it in fairly large pieces. But I want it to brown on the outside somewhat, so we're going to stir it every once in a while. Also, we want to stir it around a little bit so the garlic isn't on the heat quite as often, uh, and or quite as long. Uh, but once you get it going and you get it coated on all sides, if you can, uh, try and let it sit there uh, because that's when the browning is going to take place. We're going to leave this for three to five minutes until you get it uh, as brown as you want it to be and pretty much as cooked as you want it to be because this is all the cooking it's going to get. Uh, so you can see we've got some browning, not as much as you may want to have on yours. You do develop some flavor with that. Uh, and, and also the appearance looks great. But you can see that we have gotten it to come to some degree of browning. I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using a kosher salt. And again, I'll probably go less because people can always add more, but you can't take it out. And about the same amount of black pepper to this. I'm going to take it off the heat, or at least turn the heat off. And then I've got a green onion that I've sliced up. And depending on which kind of squash you're using, that can really add a lot of color to this. Uh, if you're using patty pan, for instance, you may not get as much color coming out. That's partly why I mix the two different kinds of squash. This is I'm going to go on a plate. This is basically ready to go on the dinner table. All right. On top of that, I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. And you can do that the amount that you want. The recipe calls for about a quarter of a cup. If you're going to add that much, you may want to stir it in a little bit as, before you take it off the burner. Uh, I find that it tends to melt too much and clump together a little too much when I do that, so I tend to sprinkle it on the top. And then we're just going to squirt it with a little bit of lemon juice to spark it up a little bit. And there you have it. Really easy. Took five minutes to cook. A little bit more time to chop it up, but zucchini and summer squash are a, are a quick fix as far as cutting. Uh, so uh, not a lot of other ingredients to prepare. I hope you'll try it. It's sautéed summer squash in garlic butter. For Oklahoma Gardening, I'm Barbara Brown. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.